What's good, everybody? JB Lewis back at y'all with a prediction video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Any videos y'all want me to react to, hit me up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the start us app at JB Lewis 77. Got a Patreon, $1 tier, JB Lewis. Hit the notification button to be alerted when I post new videos. Check out my Twitch gaming channel, JB Lewis. Check me out on TikTok, JB Lewis 77. And check out the memberships if you're interested in joining. Now, what I'm about to do a prediction to is the NXT stand to deliver night one and night two. So, the first night is going to be on USA. Then the second night is going to be on Peacock. So, we're going to get straight to the card. So, we got a match that was just added. Kushida versus P. Dunn. Now, P. Dunn been going around talking about he's the best technical wrestler. And there anybody to say otherwise. Nobody really stepped up. Kushida said he the best technical wrestler. P. Dunn had a problem with that. So, they both eliminated themselves. In a little battle royal, so now they gonna go at it. So, man, this is a tough one to call, man. Cause uh, whew, I don't know, man. But I'm gonna go with Pete Dunn on this one. Um, I don't think it's gonna hurt Kushida. Um, and it's funny that both of them like recently lost championship matches. So this would be to get the leg up on one. So. I'm definitely going to go with uh, P. Dunn on this one. The next up, we got the Elim Gauntlet Eliminator for opportunity for the North American title at night, too. So we got Swerve Scott, Leon Ruff, Bronson Reed, Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, and L.A. Knight. I don't know if they'll do a heel versus heel. Um, I It would be funny to see L.A. Knight because L.A. Knight just have no friends and just imagine the shit talk he'll do. But I think this is, I think this is set up for Dexter Loomis to go. You know, uh, so yeah, I, I'm going to go with Dexter Loomis to win it so he can get another shot because he pretty much got screwed the last time going against Johnny Gargano. Now, coming up next, we got the NXT Championship three way with MSK, Grizzle Young Vets, Elegado Del Fantasma. I'm going with the Grizzle Young Vets. It is daytime. They've been my boys since last year when pretty much COVID killed their momentum when they was on the roll. I thought they should have won a tournament. No disrespect to uh, MSK. Legato felt Taz, but they've been killing it too. I mean, it would be something if they won. Because them and Santos, uh, Escobar still have his belt. But, man, it's Grizzle Young Vets, man. I'm going with them boys to take it. Coming up next, we got Walter versus Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT United States Championship. Come on, man. It's Walter all the way, man. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with NXT UK. I heard it's been off the chain, but... There is nobody, nobody that's going to be Walter. I don't know who it is. It might have to be somebody like a Ciampa on another brand. I don't know, but it's funny how it was like, like last year, it was supposed to be Finn against and Walter before COVID, when COVID hit. So, yeah, man, Walter going Walter to gonna be breaking like an unbreakable record. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody going to beat that shit. So, I'm going with Walter. And like I say, Walter got his crew. Ciampa got nobody. Finally, we got Io Shirai versus Raquel Gonzalez. Io has been a great champion. Io is, like, what can you not say about Io? I don't know what it'd be next for Io. Um, if she went to the main roster, where would she go? Would she go to Raw? Would she go to SmackDown? Because I got Raquel Gonzalez to win this all the way. For y'all that know me, I've been saying for a while that I thought Mercedes was the one. I think she still should have been the one, but I'm completely cool. Raquel has earned that right. Raquel has been dominant, and Raquel is going to be EO. So, for that night one, so I got Pete Dunn being Kushida. I got Dexter Loomis winning, you know what I'm saying, the gauntlet opportunity. I got Grizzle Young Vets winning the tag team championship. I got Walter retaining, and I got EO retaining. I mean, not EO. I mean, I got Raquel being EO to be the new NXT Women's Champion. So night two, you know what I'm saying, we got the ladder match between Devlin, you know, who has who was the original Cruiserweight champion, but since he got stuck in the UK, and then he got caught up in a little uh, speaking out movement, you know, but everything seemed to be on the up and up. So, you know, and then you got Santos Escobar, who since winning the tournament, the crown of new champion, been killing it, took off the mask. Everybody know he was the logo. I call him the logo from a Lucha Underground because his match was basically the damn logo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, that dude been killing it. Ladder match. I got, I got, man. 
I got Escobar winning this 100%. Devlin is that dude, but nah, man. Man, keep it on Escobar, man. Let him and uh, his boys run that shit. You know, that's what I want to see. So coming up next, we got the Women's Tag Team Championship. Shashi Blackheart and Ember Moon going against The Way, which is Candice LeRae and the fine-ass Indy Hartwell. Um, I don't know, man. Um, would they do another title change this soon? Just like how they just took the belt right off of Raquel and Dakota? I don't know. I mean, I like Ember and Shotzi as a team. Uh, I think NXT is going to do a way better job with a tag team division, especially with so many women that they have, the teams that they could build, um, which I thought they had from the get-go. Um, I don't know, man. I like... I would like to see Candice and Indy win. Uh, I don't know. It's a tough one, too. I'm going to go with Candice and Indy on this one. I'm going to go with them. Uh, obviously, it's going to be shenanigans. You know, who knows? Austin Theory might get involved, you know. Um, and then it depends on what happened with Johnny. Because if he loses, you know, he's going to be tripping out. So he may make sure his wife get a belt. So we'll just have And the way as a group has been real good, you know what I'm saying, pure comedy. You know, so speaking of Johnny, we got Johnny versus the winner of the gauntlet, who I said was going to be Dexter Loomis. Um, I'm not sure. Um, Loomis don't talk, so it'd be interesting to see how what he would do with a belt, but I'm going to go with Johnny to retain on this one. So I got Johnny, obviously shenanigans that way, so him, Candace, and Indy, and then they could have a belt, and then Austin Theory could just be the dumb jock that he is. Um, coming up next, the unsanctioned match between Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. Man, heated rivalry. This guy ranked it. This was so remind me of so much of their feud in Ring of Honor. Um, I'm going to go with Kyle O'Reilly to win this one because this might finally be Adam Cole's send-off. We are terrified of what's going to happen, him on the main roster, so we can only hope that he goes to SmackDown. Because if he goes to Raw with Vince, it's pretty much a wrap. Uh, or he could just stick around in NXT. But uh, I think it's Kyle O'Reilly time. You know, Kyle, like I say, but then again, you don't know what's going to happen. Roddy supposedly is done. So who knows? He may show up and get involved. Uh, Bobby's still out there. But for right now, I'm going to go with uh, Kyle O'Reilly. And then we'll go from there. Coming up next, finally, we got the NXT Championship, Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross. Um, I want Finn to retain. I don't want them to put the belt right on Cross. Let that man wait a little longer. I thought they put the belt on him too quick when he beat Keith Lee. Like I say, I like Cross. Obviously, like Scarlett Cross is going to be that dude. It will be Cross NXT, but I think it'll be way too soon. Man, I say let Finn run with this dude. Like, I ain't seeing him, him have a Walter, but man, this, this, this Finn right here, this Finn right here has been gold. The cockiness, the arrogance. The mic work 100 times better than what he was on the main roster. Uh, so I'm going to go with Finn to retain. And then Cross, you know, he ain't going nowhere. He'll be just fine. You know, like I said, somebody's got to humble Cross. And Finn is like, they can't do it because of Finn. Because of Cross win. Who the hell going to beat him? You know what I'm saying? Because you know they're going to book him like a monster. So it's like, what? If Kyle couldn't beat Finn, he ain't going to... Uh, I ain't gonna be cross. Shit, P Dunn not gonna be cross. You know what I mean? So I just say let Finn run with it. So all right, y'all. So the recap: I got Santos Escobar retaining his championship. I got the Way winning the NXT Women's Championship. I got Johnny Gargano retaining the NXT North American Championship. I got Kyle O'Reilly getting the best of Adam Cole, and I got Finn Balor retaining against Karrion Cross. So all right, y'all. So there y'all have it. Predictions are standing to deliver. I will be doing. Um, a live watch, so go to come to the YouTube channel. So we'll be doing, I'll be doing it on both nights, you know. So come on out, like y'all been coming out, man, and we gonna have a good time and then uh, enjoy these uh, two nights. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, JV Lewis. Y'all be safe out here. Catch y'all on the rebound. Check out the Patreon. Hit the notification button. Check out the Twitch gaming channel. Check me out on TikTok. Check out the memberships, and I'll see y'all good people next video. Peace.